guys, it's Lita Lums Apotheca. Today we're going to talk about tetrahexyl acerbate, which is an oil soluble vitamin C. We're going to make a daytime facial oil out of it today. It's an extremely stable vitamin C and it's oil soluble, so it penetrates deep into your skin. Yay! Oh my God! Okay, you guys, this is quite the mouthful. Tetrahexyl decil, pretty sure that's how you say it, acerbate, darlings. So this is fairly expensive and I found it cheaper, at, cheapest at lotion crafters right at the moment. Um, sometimes at Bulk Actives, which is in Taiwan. Tetrahexyl <laughs> acerbate, tetrahexyl decil acerbate. It's very stable, oil soluble, vitamin C. So because it's oil soluble, it penetrates past the epidermis into the dermis, which is fabulous. And it inhibits the lipid perioxidation, which is where free radicals steal basically a, an electron from the cell and the cell has damage therefore. So this is really good antioxidant for that reason. So that's why it's a good day serum. It's very good for protection. It's not sunscreen but it mitigates the effects of UV exposure. It's uh, fighting against the free radicals, so that again, well, that's good day serum. Day oil is what I'm gonna use it as. And it's, you know, studies shown that it stimulates collagen, which all vitamin C do, but this one's very stable and quite utilized by the skin. It's clarifying, brightening the skin, and inhibits melogenesis, melanogen, melanogenesis, one of those melanogenesis probably, the hyperpigmentation. So if, like, if you have melasma or like freckles or spots, it'll inhibit the continual you know, darkening of those spots, darlings. Oh, and it won't exfoliate, so it's not as irritating as l acid, which um, because of the pH is so low, it's exfoliating the skin, because exfoliation is basically due to pH. Did you know that? It's recommended 0.5 to 2%, up to 10%, and that's what we're gonna do today, you guys. 10 it's kind of a lot. It's gonna be great. I, you could do less, of course. It's considered to be more potent than L-ascorbic acid and other vitamin C compounds because it has a higher rate of absorb of reaction with the skin, as we just discussed. Because it's lipid soluble, just like human skin. Does it make sense? Oh, this is interesting. So, this is gonna be fun to say. Glycosaminoglycans. Glycosaminoglycan, which are compounds present in your skin that actually hold, help your skin hold on to water, which of course diminishes as we age, of course. Tetrahexyldesyl <laughs> ascorbate actually helps your, your skin generate more glycosaminoglycans. Because it gets down into the dermis, below the epidermis, because it can penetrate and uh, it'll be utilized by your skin most readily versus other vitamin Cs because that is where your collagen is produced, within the dermis, darlings, right? And that's where they need some vitamin C, right? Of course, it's good to take vitamin C internally as well. Antioxidant properties, it's used, utilized more readily by the skin. Glycosaminoglycans, glycosaminoglycans. It also can be work with vitamin C, L-ascorbic acid. So if, you, if you're doing that, sometimes I do that brightening, which I haven't been lately. I just put a little bit of powder in my wa and add water and kind of use it as a toner in the morning. And actually, I haven't been doing that as much. I've been doing more of my niacinamide and N-acetylglucosamine in the morning. But when we go back to that, I just use, I, I made sort of a less formulated one with shea oil and it, it was good it was pretty light but now i want it even lighter because it's hot and sticky i don't like putting a lot of oils like heavy oils my skin's not really into that at the moment but you can use a different oil you can use one that with higher vitamin e you know maybe a nut oil if you want totally your call no problem um so i'm using neo essence squalane which i really like this is from lotion crafters it's very super light oil it's comes from a yeast ferment. So it's actually more sustainable than olive squalane. Of course, it's not coming from whales, which I don't think happens anymore. It is, so squalane is most readily used with your skin. It absorbs in really nicely. It's got a nice feel to your skin, so that's why I'm into it. And I like this because it's coming, it comes from a fermentation of yeast. I love fermentation. 
So this uh, Neo Essence Squalane is pretty dope. So that's gonna be our base. We're gonna do 10% of our Tetra, tetrahexyl decyl acerbate, the vitamin C. And then, because vitamin C works so well with vitamin E, and also is kind of a keep it preserved nicely, we're gonna put it in a dark jar, of course. I'm going to put vitamin E in as well. So not too much, two to 5%. Five, five would make it a little gooey. I don't want it gooey, so I'm just gonna put two. 2% and that's gonna make a very small amount because I'm just putting it in a 15 millimeter container. It would be good, and I'll find some, and I'll have some links below, if you could have a squirt bottle, but in a glass amber jar, a glass, if you want it to be dark. I mean, I guess you could also just wrap your like tape, it was duct tape around your container to keep it from having so much light exposure. Keep it in your, cabinet you know so it's less like light exposure oh, oh one more thing so to calculate this if you have a larger jar there's a really great calculator and it's, it's just an excel sheet that is uh simply I'll, I'll put a link to that again it's from bulk actives and you know if you, you just put in if i have 30 percent of you know whatever container amount you have and then you just put your list your different ingredients and the percentages you want of those and then it will calculate it out for you. Oh my God, it's awesome. Should we do it guys? Let's do it. It'll be so fun. Flipping it over. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna to go to 13.2 approximately of our squalane. We're just going to here. Okay, oh goodness. Of our Neo Essence squalane, which I just love. Thirteen. All right, I'm getting some on the side. It's too bad. It's a shame. 0.3 milligrams. So this is tiny. You could maybe give it more. So I've got this fancy micro pipette. So fancy. You can just approximate. I think you'll be okay. Extract only 30 because I don't want it to be very, I don't want it to be goopy. A few drops of oil. That was my vitamin E. So this is the great thing about a beaker. Rather than measuring this next part, I can just go up, you see, 1.5, and that's gonna be 10%. It's gonna be quite a high percentage of tetrahexyl desilacerbate, just dropping. Wow, that's so much. That's a lot, 10% is a lot. All right, guys. So, I mean, I could mix this up in a fancier way, but I'm just shaking my beaker. Yay! Okay, pour it into my container. So I would recommend rather than a dropper, a squirter, which I'm gonna try and find some of those and link to it in the description. But since we don't have one of those, we're gonna use a dropper. And I'm just gonna pour it in, which will continue to mix it up. Yeah, 10% is a large amount of this. Didn't get it all, so I'm gonna rub that stuff on that's left in the beaker. Yay! And you can add a drop or two of essential oil if you wish. Pirito! Yeah! <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that. 10%, whew, it's a lot. But it's gonna be good, because it's, it's not irritating. It doesn't irritate your skin like other vitamin C's. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be great. Okay, so this Neo Essence Squalane got everywhere, but I know I've just rubbed it in. So you guys, if you like that video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and of course share. And if you would wanna get on my mailing list, there's a card up there that will get you on my mailing list. <laughs> and then, you know, when there's deals for like perfect supplements, which you of course always see my Hydrolyzed Collagen back there, which I always recommend, or if there's some other deals I can send your way, exclusives for my channel, you get them. And also, of course, when I come out with my skincare line in the fall, you will be notified first. Of course, you're getting a discount. There you go, guys. Tetra, let's try and pronounce it. Tetra hexyl decil, tetra hexyl decil acerbate. That is going to be my favorite go-to, um, or at least in addition to the l ascorbic acid, just because that's so easy. And you know, once your skin starts to acclimate, it's just nice. There you go, guys. 
Let me know what you think. Maybe you have some formulas with tetrahexyl decil, tetrahexyl decil acerbate that you would like to share. Of course, in the comments below, you can check it out. And I hope you have a fabulous, or having a fun, wonderful, wonderful summer. And catch you later. The production of glycos glycosamino glycosaminoglycans. I got it. I think I got it. Glycosaminoglycans. Got my notes here. Whew. It's an oil vitamin. It can produce glyco. <laughs> Glyc. Sheesh. Tetrahexyl decil acerbate. An oil, facial oil. Let me just check the facts for a minute. Ready? Uh, 10% rather. We're going to do 10, which is heck, let's do it. 10%. So this is about, um, um, while, of, uh, um, uh, it's just an X, uh, X, what is it? Damage effects of UV rays. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Damn it. This is messier than I want it to be. Darn it. Okay. Today, yeah. it's extremely light.